Hello everyone, I am back with a new video for you. Today we are going to implement welcome welcome or onboarding tour of our grapes JS editor. For the same I am going to use this cool library react joyride. This video tutorial is asked by one of my subscriber. So without any delay let's start. So first of all we are going to install this React Joyride library in our application. If you are new then first watch my previous video and subscribe to my channel. In our editor file let's import Joyride from React Joyride library. Now we have to add Joyride component in our component where we want to show onboarding steps. Joyride have many configuration options we are also going to use some of them. These config are self-understandable so I am not explaining it. First continuous. Then hide close button. Then scroll to first. Then show progress. Then show skip button. Then last but not least our steps. I will create an array of object in our API underscore util slash index dot js for our steps. This object will have mainly four properties. In this object only target and content is only required keys. I am going to repeat this object to show multiple steps. Let's check, how many steps do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So we need 9 objects. So let's create them one by one. First is for create page button. So let add title and content for this. In target, we have give our selector, where we want to show our steps, but we don't have any specific selector so let add one it in our page section component and use that. Placement is where we want to place our content around our selector. Second is for page list, let add title, content, target, and placement. Add this id to our page list in page section. Third is for all tabs, where we have blocks, trait, style and layer manager. Let's check this target selector in our tab code. Fourth is for block manager, where we have our blocks and for its target we already have block id. Fifth is for sidebar toggle, which hide and show our sidebar to make editor to full page. For the target, we have to add an id in our top nav. Sixth is for device manager. We already have selector for this, so let's add them in our target. I am not going to add placement in this because bottom is default. Seventh is for our actions. We already have selector for this too. If you don't have this selector then please watch my previous videos. Eight is for more settings for undo, redo and save code. We already have selector for this too. And finally ninth is for our editor. For selector I am going to use our body tag and placement will be in center of the page. Now, use this steps in our joyride component attribute and check how it goes. This is working but UI is not showing properly. So, I am going to use styles to fix this. Styles has many options, I tried left but it didn't work so I am going to decrease width here. It's look good, but let increase width little bit. Not good, let try different value. It seems good. So use this same styles and other steps too. That's it for today's, thanks.